Hello everybody, welcome back. This is our final week of CC Cycle One. This is week 24 already. We are all done, it's hard to believe. I just wanna say a huge well done to everyone. It has been a lot of work that we've put in and learning all of this information for us tutors and our kiddos alike. Uh, it's been so great and so fun learning everything that we have this year. If you are interested in more things related to to mom life, parent life, family life, faith, and homeschooling, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos related to things like that in the weeks and months to come. And I just want to thank you all for coming along this year and joining me as we have prepped for tutoring and being the lead learners of our families here with CC. So without further ado, here are some memory work ideas for this week, week 24, our final week. For math, we are learning the identity law, and so we sing this to the tune of Polly Wally Doodle, and it sounds like this. The identity law for addition states A plus zero equals A. The identity law for multiplication states A times one equals A. And in class, what we did is we just briefly explained that if I had five of our favorite thing and I added zero to it, how many would I have? And it was a resounding, you would still have five. Uh, the same thing for if I had five and I multiplied it by just one, how many would I have? And they all kind of laughed and you would still have five. So to them, it, it breaks it down on simpler terms to help them understand the concept. Uh, but that basically was how we introduced the identity law, the identity law by just explaining that with a specific number of anything and how it works. So that's how we did math. For English, we are wrapping up our entire linking verbs tune. And so we sing that to the tune of ants go marching. And so the whole thing sounds like this. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. Fill, become, remain, taste, seem, appear, look, sound, stay, smell, grow, be. These are the linking verbs. And that's our whole tune. So that's how we did linking verbs. In class this week, what we did was we uh, got in a line. You could do this in a circle too, but just a fun way to kind of give a visual for linking the verbs is we had the kids stand with their right hand facing up, palm facing up on top of the palm of someone to their right. And then their left hand underneath the palm of the person to their left. And so what we did was we did the hit the palm of the person to your left. And since their right hand is on top, they can take that hand and continue hitting the palm of the next person. Um, it helps to definitely explain how this motion will work by explaining that the right hand palm needs to be facing up and it needs to be on top of the palm of the other. But that's how we covered linking verbs. We sang that song while we did those motions of passing the clap on all the way down to the end of the row and back with everyone doing that together. For history to this week, we have Tell Me About the Portuguese Empire. And so the last three weeks, I've had the map of South America and all the countries up on my board that I drew there. And so I left that for this week because it's related to the Portuguese Empire. And I just kind of highlighted in the country of Brazil so that we could point to that and refer back to that when we introduce the history statement. So uh, we did this with hand motions because timeline is no longer there using hand motion, so this was a great week for that. So we did an in for Napoleon, and then threatened, we pointed our hand like this. Portuguese Empire, I made it, we made a P, and we just made a circle so that we could show that it's the Portuguese Empire, so going all around. Then we have King John the Sixth. That part of the song goes really fast, so we just signed a J for John. If you want to, you could do the sign for six, but J might work better, just doing the J and then B for Brazil. Then we have his son, Dom Pedro. You could do another P, the first, and then he declared Brazil, another B, or if you want to, you can just skip to the next motion, which is he declared Brazil independent. So we go like this, independent in 1822. And the song sings that part twice at the end, so we just do that twice. And that's how we covered our history for this week. Uh, sang through that and did the motions. We had several kids this week who wanted to 
uh, do those motions on their own for the class and so we got to run through it several times uh, just demonstrating the motions with the song. For Latin, we discovered last week that it is fun to stick to the crab walk and um, we start with putting our five hands up and then we get down on all fives and we all do the crab walk together as we sing out our fifth declension Latin noun endings. And then at the end of the singular, we put one of our crab hands up and give another crab a high five. And then for the plural, we're down on all fives again because this is our fifth declension noun endings and we sing the plural tune as we're walking around with the crab walk and then they can try to stand up and give somebody high tens because it's plural fifth declension and so that's how we covered our latin for the fifth declension noun endings for timeline this week, we are learning about US presidents. But what I did do, because usually every week on my board, I have posted all of our timeline cards at the top of the board. This week, I um, replaced those cards and instead of putting the presidents on the board, what I did was I put in uh, just rectangle outlines of what would have been the timeline cards and I put each of the students names in each of those slots and just reminded them that they are part of their timeline and just as all the cards that we've read up until this point were a part of our history and our timeline they are too and now is their day that God created us all for such a time as this and so we are part of our timeline and it is a blessing to be alive today and fulfilling the purpose that God put in each of us and so just encourage them as as part of their timeline and encourage them with those thoughts so if you are a tutor who puts up cards on your board each week that would be a way to encourage the kiddos for the end of the year but for the president song what i did was i did use the cards that cc offers these are the president cards and i put them up on a, bo a separate board because that way i could show all of the presidents and use all these cards as we sang the song and so we use the same cc tune uh, for the president song and i'll just sing the ending of it because um there are many ways that you could end it to include our new president biden and this is how uh, we did that so we have Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, and Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump, Biden, it's for him we pray. And so that is how we covered our timeline and our U.S. presidents. For geography, we have North Atlantic, and so we are learning about Greenland, Iceland, the Denmark Strait, and the Davis Strait. Very simple because we just have four locations. So this week we just did a simple point and show me, tell me, back and forth. And for straits, we talked about how what a strait is because it's kind of right in between what we learned for the Canadian waters for the Labrador Sea and the Baffin Bay. So it was fun to demonstrate the difference in those. And then for Greenland and Iceland, we talked about how it's interesting because Iceland is actually very green and beautiful. So we kind of talked about some of those points with those and that's how we covered geography. For science this week, we are learning some markings on the globe. And because this relates to the globe from a couple weeks ago, we are singing it to the same tune of He's Got the Whole World. And it sounds like this. Some markings on the globe are latitude, longitude, and prime meridian, degrees and northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. And that is how we cover science this week. I did draw up on the board a globe. You could also bring in a globe from home and just showed the southern and northern hemispheres. Talked about the prime meridian being the zero degrees of our longitude line. So that's where the longitude line starts. And that these are all imaginary lines. And also we talked about how we have latitude and how we talked about the equator and how we've already covered some of those lines of latitude. And um, that is some of the things that we pointed out for this week for science. And last but not least uh, for review this week, we actually 
reviewed more of all a lot of the things that we've learned earlier this year because we're going to be showcasing those for our end of year celebration today actually and um, so that's how we covered it but one idea that you could do is to take some paper plates just like this with just all the different subjects written on them all seven subjects and then you have a little frog hopper like this and on your table you just hop your frogs onto those plates and whatever yeah plate it lands on, that's yeah. the subject that you're reviewing. Yeah. And that's one way that you could do review um, for this week. And I hope that makes sense. Uh, if not, let me know. I'm happy to share in the comments. Um, one idea though that is fun for end of year is to possibly bring in some uh, treats, stickers, any kind of fun prizes that you could to give as they answer the questions as a as a reward for all that they've learned this year. So anyways, thank you all for being here. I wish you all a wonderful summer and hopefully we will continue to be in touch throughout the next few months. Have a great summer. God bless you. Bye.